So, welcome back to this fourth video in our series about Bergmüller's Opus 100 studies. That particular one, you might or might not know, it's number eight, uh, La Gracieuse, with gracefulness. And this one is a beautiful one, I think, actually. Um, the, the focus of it is about turns, as you can hear. That's the purpose, the technical purpose behind it, really. Um, it's in F major. A few things about it first. So it's in F major, it's in 3-4 time. The metronome mark is 100, which is really, really fast. That's the bird mother one. Um, which I don't feel you can play gracefully at all. So as you heard, mine is, is a slower one. Um, what else can I tell you? It, again, it's an ABA, so it <clears throat> has the first section, which is the right hand doing it, and then the second section, he reverses it. You know, it's a common trick, isn't it? But if you're doing study, then you've got to have both hands actually get, getting a go on it. Um, I said in the very first introductory video about Bergmüller composing ballets, and again, I can, you know, this to me is a ballet dance. I can imagine it being used in a ballet class almost for the uh, ballet dancers to practice their turns. And indeed, we do need to practice our turns as well as, as pianists. And it instructs you to play molto legato e leggero, so very, very smoothly and very lightly as well. I think you can have a lot of fun with this one, actually, in terms of practicing those turns and um, indeed improvising your own versions of the turns. The turns are written as demi semi quavers, so there's another little learning point that you could extract from this that you focus on um, deepening understanding of demi semi quavers. You certainly get quite a lot of them in this piece. Now let's consider this. Um, this opening bar, this gesture, if you remember we've been talking a lot in this series about the, um, the phrasing actually needing gestures behind it to, it's about the musical sensitivity, the musical direction rather than just the technical how do I do this. So first phrase. So what we've got here is starting on the third finger we've then got that little turn two, one, three, and then again, two, one, three. And then that, that requires the hand and the arm to do the turn. A little practicing that you might do, you might just shorten it, because actually what we've got here is an F major triad. So really important that as teachers, you recognize what is the outline. Forget about all the, all the free bits in between, just what is the outline. And then the second bar, it's C, G, Okay, and then E, G, C. Now if you know that, then you can really begin to have that as your, your focus. Those are the notes you're heading for. So the first one, C, F, A again. Maybe that's one little practice idea. You cut out some of the middle notes and you'd, I did C, B with your second finger, C with your thumb, and that allows you to spring open to the F with your third finger. And notice how I open the door from my arm and my wrist to allow my thumb to pass under. So the thumb asks the arm for help, really. Help me get up to there, would you? And the, the hand just opens out, it extends, and then it closes up again. You probably can't see, but what's happening is I'm doing, let me do it on my arm piano. Dum, da, 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 dum. And look how my, my hand immediately follows. Dum, da, 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 dum. What I'm not doing is dum, da, 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 dum, and leaving that there. You try that, because as soon as you do that, you can feel there is tension here. So instead, you've got to follow, keep that hand as much as possible in that neutral position, as I'd like to call it. Okay, so we're getting there with that particular technical idea. Because then the next thing is to do dum, 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 up. Of course, you've got to have strong independent fingers underneath that. However, again, the fingers aren't necessarily the point that you start with. You start with the gesture from the arm, from the wrist, and then the fingers follow. 
have lots of fun with improvisation, I think. Especially once you analyse what the note patterns are. So you start on the C, you go up a whole step, back to the C again, down a half step, back to the C again, up a half step, and then there's a bit of a leap there. So, and I would certainly probably introduce this without the notation there. To be absolutely honest, this is something that needs technical focus. You need to teach this almost by rote so that you can focus on that artistry that's coming. Let's try it on a different note. Let's try G. So I'm going to use exactly the same pattern. Whole step, uh, start on the G, up a whole step, down, a, back down to the G, down a half step, back to the G, and then I'm going to spring up to a C this time. Let's try. Oh, it still works as well. What happens if I do it on a completely different note, nothing to do with this key, I'm going to start on a B. Oh, that's a bit tricky, that one. Oh, but I can still do it. As long as I follow that same formula, up a, up a step, back down, down a half step. And why not send your student home to improvise, to make up some of those patterns for themselves, up and down the keyboard. Nothing to do yet with learning the piece of music, if we even get that, doesn't really make any difference. What they're learning then is that lovely technique and that will set them up beautifully if you do then decide to go. Yeah, like that. So that was <coughs> La Gracias, the um, number eight from the Bergmüller Opus 100 studies that's given you a little bit of inspiration to go and look at that one because it is very beautiful and it's not played as much as I think it should be really. Remember that we have got an overview that you can download, is that the right way around? Yes, and the Bergamilla, um overview of all the pieces in the Opus 100, that's all 25 pieces and do join me in the next video when I'll be looking at another piece. Bye for now.